Right, hello and welcome to my channel. Right, so this is a series of videos uh, that I'll be covering on uh, Bluebeam Review. Right, for those who have not explored Bluebeam before, I encourage you to uh, check out the description box uh, in this video. Uh, there is a link to the pre-recorded 45-minute uh, long webinar where I have covered most of the main features of uh, Bluebeam. Right. Uh, there is also a link to sign up for our live webinars, which we now hold every week. Hope to see you there. Right. So, uh, just a quick introduction uh, about myself, about the company. Right. DK, we are uh, we are a company that focuses on QS uh, services. We have three branches. So, uh, the first and second, we focus on uh, takeoffs, measurements, and also we are a consultant QS serving clients. Right, uh, the third branch, we are actually a uh, software training firm and also uh, doing sales for software and one of those is for Bluebeam. Right, we encourage you to visit our LinkedIn and Facebook pages, uh, like and follow us so that you can find out more about our latest events and promotions. Right, uh, the QR code here links to a Bluebeam user group, so that is a private group which I have set up where uh, there are fellow Bluebeam users and the, and the other users with I've, which I've trained before. Right? This uh, community is made up of various uh, job scopes ranging from uh, designers, architects, project managers, uh, estimators as well. So for those who are existing users, please uh, reach out to me. Uh, we would like you to join this community and really just share uh, any tips and also if you have any questions, uh, this can be an open community to discuss. Right, for today's video, we are going to be talking about uh, how does Bluebeam uh, enable you to do your measurements uh, much faster. Right, so today's example, uh, we are going to be covering on a structural steel plan. Right, so the unique thing with Bluebeam is that it is not considered a... It doesn't specialize in any particular type uh, of takeoff. Right, so it really depends. You can actually um, input your own formulas, name it however you wish, uh, according to what you are trying to do. So if you are trying to do an architectural measurement, an area would be your floor area, your finishes maybe. Right, if you were doing MAE works, a length would be your the length of your ducting. Uh, and if you are doing structural steel as we are doing today, uh, the length can be the length of your steel members. Right, so it is flexible according to what you have. Right, so I have Bluebeam open up here, right, and I have a sample canopy, uh, canopy roof plan here. Right, so just a few things. Uh, first things first, we have to scale the drawing. So something new with uh, Review 2019 is that uh, you have to scale your drawing before you do any measurements. If you don't, uh, you can't do any measurements at all. Right, so we are going to scale off the drawing first. Check the scale is 8 meters and apply the scale. Right, so once I've applied the scale, I can start and do my measurement. Right, something that I have done beforehand, all right, and, and this is something very unique to Bluebeam, is that I've created a library. So if you look on my left, I have created a tool which is called SB4, right, which corresponds to the item on my drawing. Now, this item in two chests. Uh, they it, it takes less than about 20 seconds to create one, right? So what is what is the uh, practicality of creating a library item, right? So all the estimators out there, you would know that from the time that you um, that you do your taking off on a piece of paper, right? You would actually use color pencils to segregate your measurements. This color for that item, another color for another item, right? Uh, when we do it on a computer, when we do it digitally. Right, most of the softwares out there, they are just default red color. Right, the, 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 the problem that that faces is that if you're working in a team or you have multiple items that you need to segregate by, right, it's not very useful having everything as red. Right, it's, it's difficult to communicate internally and if you submit that out as a report, right, the external parties are going to find it difficult uh, to tell what your measurements are as well. Right, so the two chests is a very simple way for you to save your commonly used markups or measurements, right, so you can reuse them over and over again, right, it gets better when you are working in a team, because once you have set up this library, 
you can actually just share this library with everyone else and everybody will be on the same page right so I've actually created uh, this item over here my library item and I will go ahead to start my measurement so you can just click on two points measure them off Right, so I've done a few already. So you can see that my customized measurements are not red. I've changed them to blue and they all have this naming convention on top as before. So that makes it even easier for me to see where I'm going uh, with my measurements. All right. Okay, so, so a, a few things that I can do over here. If you take a look at the bottom, which is my markups list, right? So uh, markups list is a overall view of whatever that you have measured so far. Right. And you are able to see um, all the items that you have done and you are able to also segregate or filter your items right so uh, let's say for example if I turn on my label column right, I can actually segregate all of my items under SB4 and I have a length over here uh, at this point you have various options if you are sending this to someone internally and who is using review as well you can just save this file as a PDF send it out to them they will be able to open up your file and see all of the individual measurements you have done. However, if you are sending this to uh, someone externally and you would like to actually protect your data, right, I would recommend you to go and click on flatten. Right, This flatten feature will enable you to, re to let your markups re remain on the drawing, but the person that's opening up, they cannot delete or move your markup. So it, in turn, it protects your data. Right, to maybe to prevent sabotage or maybe miscommunication from the other party right so now uh, there are a few ways you can export out right under this button you can export directly to Excel or you can export as a PDF summary right so let me share about the PDF summary the summary is a very useful tool especially if you're sharing uh, data to external parties why is that so now once you have actually exported out okay you will see that uh, it becomes a multiple page PDF Right, I have my drawing on the first page and the, and the report at the back. Now, why is this useful? Because first things first, this is a PDF. So that means anybody who has a PDF opener can use this, whether it's Bluebeam or not. Right, another thing is that if the person would like to go through your item one by one and they say, oh, hey, this is a bit small, I can't see what this is. So the person can just click on it, it will jump back to the exact measurement right or area on the page so this hyperlinking feature will be very useful uh, whether for internal checking or external checking right so that is for PDF summary now let me touch on a little bit about this CSV summary so the CSV summary is actually an Excel summary right so basically a copy of this entire markups this table here which I'm highlighting will be copied over to Excel however the the uh, the functionality of that uh, there will be no live link, meaning once I have exported it out and if I make further changes to the PDF, the quantities in Excel would not be updated. So we're going to introduce you a new feature which is called quantity link. Now let me open up my Excel. Now, so what I have done previously, this is my uh, this is my Excel template. Right? So the first thing that you notice is that my length has already been automatically populated, 67.36. Now, why is that? Right, if you take a look at the setting that I've done, right, so this is something that I've already preset, right? And quantity link allows you to draw data uh, or measurement data directly from Bluebeam, your PDF, right? And it is live link, meaning if I change the data, it will update in the in the Excel sheet as well, right? So I have configured it to um, save length and whatever that is labeled as SB4. Right, so vice versa, you can do the same as you set up your Excel table for all your other types of structural beams or even structural columns. Right, that will work uh, similarly. Right, now, so let's say for example, uh, I have 67.36. If I go back to my PDF, right, it shows me 67.36. Now, what if I continue to add on a few items? Right, so let me continue on my measurement and say that, okay, I'm going to just measure off this item a few more. Right, to maybe do up. Right, so now my total comes up to 80.33. Now let's take a look what the Excel reflects now. Right, so you can see it updates accordingly. 
Right, so this feature is actually very useful for users who already have a fixed set of uh, standards or format in Excel. Right, they are very comfortable with Excel, they have the formulas all done up in Excel, and this live link allows them to make use of uh, the best of both worlds, basically. Right, the best of Bluebeam and the best of Excel. Right, and allows them a very little interruption in their existing workflow. Another, another workflow you may wish to explore is that if you would like to work fully within Bluebeam, you can actually go over to the custom column. Right, so over here in the markups list, you are able to create your own custom column here. You can make, you can make use of custom columns similar to how it works in Excel. And you can actually create a column just for the weights, right, the kg weights, and create a simple formula of A times B equals C and to allow the overall uh, quantity to be shown within Bluebeam itself. Right, so it is really flexible depending on what sort of workflow suits your team better. Right, so I hope this has helped you out. Uh, if, there any, if there's any questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. I hope the video has helped you out uh, in your usage of Bluebeam. Right, so uh, if there are any um, questions that you may have, feel free to reach out to me. My contact details are as shown in the slide. Right, uh, do leave us a thumbs up, a like, um, and even subscribe right to my channel so that you can uh, receive notifications whenever we have new tutorials uh, for our software is coming up. Right, thank you. Take care.